See if I can fix this real quick. I don't know what's going on. All right. That may have to work. That may have to work. That may have to work. Blessings, family. Wait for a couple of you guys to log in here. Boy, oh boy. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Listen, I have a word, a word, a word today. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me all right? I don't know. I'm doing this on my phone, so I don't know how the stream is. I don't know if it's working, if it's not working. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm not sure. Blessings, blessings. All right, there it is. Can you guys hear me all right? Mm-mm-mm. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Listen, already the Lord is showing me that the, um, that this is going to be a major confirmation for uh, somebody already in their spirit. Already in their spirit. Major breakthrough is about to hit your home. Major breakthrough is about to hit your home. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Listen, there's somebody who's even listening right now where the day will not end before the glory of the Lord touches your house. You know, I woke up this morning. You know, when I woke up this morning, I was just spending time with the Lord. And I'm telling you, the uh, the spirit of breakthrough and, and blessings and God's goodness was just so heavy today. And, you know, I just was thanking the Lord because, you know, Sometimes, sometimes you don't know, right? It, you know, sometimes it's just the, the, the Lord's presence. So sometimes you're trying to, you know, so sometimes you don't automatically know that the Lord is uh, about to do something other than the fact that the Lord, you know, uh, pronounces his presence and then you're grateful and you're just thankful to be in his, in, in his, in his, uh, uh, in his presence and, and in his countenance. And, you know, when you can kind of feel God's glory shining upon you, his face shining upon you. But the more I sat, the more I prayed, the more I enjoyed the Lord, the more it became clear that the Lord was moving on somebody's life. There is a spirit of transformational breakthrough being released for somebody today in Jesus' name. Listen, the Lord is getting ready to touch somebody's house. And 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 it's interesting because it's uh um it's shifting. Um, um, it, it's, it's transformative. It's, it's somebody's, somebody's about to be transformed. The Lord is getting ready to touch. I see life changing. I see life changing. And what I really feel in my spirit is that it's not about to continue in the same way. Somebody's getting ready to, to, to uh, uh, encounter a, a, a life changing shift from God. Watch this. Watch this. Breakthrough is on the horizon. There is somebody who the day will not set before the Lord's favor and blessings touch your house. At the same time, at the same time, there are others who are in this time frame of transformational change and breakthrough. Because Watch this. Wow. Okay, Lord, help me. Help me. Help me. Hmm. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. And this is something a couple of you may have already, uh, 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 I know it's probably confirmation for a few of you that you woke up and you can sense that, hold on, there is a change going on, that there is something transformational happening. There's a goodness of God that is tangible. Watch this. That is the Lord confirming to you that the breakthrough has come. And listen, um, can I just say this? I know that there are some of you who are weary. And we're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you. Amen. You know, we're kind of, for those of you who are new to the channel, you know, this is kind of where we started. You know, um, uh, uh, you, when it was drive time, prophetic drive time. Amen. Right. So we're just going to pray. If you are, if you are one of those who are in need, in, in need of a breakthrough, I'm telling you right now, hear my words, hear my words. The Lord is here to change it. You know, I, I just got to say this because this is in my spirit. There is somebody here who you have been accustomed. You have you have become accustomed to things not happening, things not changing, things not moving around, things not working out on your behalf. But I'm, I'm here to tell you right now that there is, I will declare, I'm here to declare an end to that, an end to things being or things going as normal. God is changing it 
around for you because he is a good God. He is a good father. And one of the things, one of the things that, that I always encourage people, one of the things that I always try to encourage people to do is keep already hoping God. Because you never know when your time comes and you don't want to be, you don't want to be like the king who said, shall it be, shall it be when, when, uh, when the prophet said by this time tomorrow, buffering out yeah. you know, some of that bad. Yeah. hey man <laughs> is it back we're driving so I know the I know the uh, reception is probably uh, really bad and spotty hey man but let's pray Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I just thank you, Father, for your goodness, Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. How come it cannot be done? Why can it not be done? Why? Can, how? Why? How? How is this? How is this? I'm hearing this, Lord. Who says I won't perform it? Who said I won't do it? Who said I won't? Who said I'm unable? Why has your expectation been that it will always be bad for you? Where has your expectation gone? Where has your expectation gone? Have you allowed your expectation to slip away? Did you not remember? Did you forget that I am that I am? Did you forget that he is God? That he is still in control? That he reigns? Did you forget? Did you lose your expectation? Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we, we, we lift up everybody, Father, who is in need, Father, who has been searching, who has been believing, Father, even those, Father, who have found it difficult, Lord, to hope because of the situations and circumstances. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I just release the spirit of breakthrough, Father, the spirit of provision, Father, the spirit of your glory, Father, in the lives and in the houses of your people, Father, to meet their needs. Listen, let me just say this to you. There is something life changing for somebody here on this live. Yep. Somebody here on this live is getting ready to have a life changing event. The spirit of breakthrough, the spirit of breakthrough is getting ready to touch your home. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says assignment. The Lord says assignment. The Lord says assignment, assignment, assignment. Wow, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord is priming somebody. You see, because in order for you to do what God called you to do, you need to be healthy. You need to be whole. So the Lord is coming after that sickness. So I break the spirit of infirmity off of you right now in Jesus name. I rebuke that sickness off of your body right now in Jesus name because the Lord is moving to prepare you for assignment. There are some of you who need, watch this, there are some of you who need the Lord to elevate you because you have been positioned, you have been, you have been commissioned to be a, a, a helping hand to elevate others it's about assignment and so the breakthrough is coming for the glory of God but the Lord says this is time for assignment it's time for assignment somebody needs a breakthrough in their heart and in their emotions there's a, a lot of emotional bondage and baggage and the Lord says you need to be free for the assignment because part of your assignment is revealing the glory of God somebody needs to know that God is a healer somebody needs to know that God is a redeemer some Somebody needs to know that God forgives and the and the and the and the uh, uh, the abundance of the uh, of the oppression and the warfare that has been on your life has kept you low but God says this today I'm breaking that off of you today you need to be free because of the assignment this is about winning souls this is about the glory of God this is about what we have been commissioned what we are born for the reason the reason why we are here for such a time as this and I just want to say this to somebody listen there's somebody who's listening now the Lord says you've been wallowing too long you've been wallowing too long you've been wallowing too long listen you got to get up out of the pig pen and remember your father you got to come to your right mind you got to remember again that your that your father owns the cattle on a thousand hills it's time for you to break loose from that beggarly mindset it's time for you to break loose from from that from that uh uh uh, uh that 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 slothful that uh slothful mentality and remember your God again because he says 
says, I will do great exploits. I will do great exploits. I will do great exploits. You got to get out of the pig pen of your mind. In the enemy has drug you. It seems like the enemy has drug you into the pig pen, into the slop. And, and watch this. In some cases, it made you cynical. In some areas, it made you cynical. Watch this. And, and the Lord says this, I have an inheritance for you, my beloved. I have an inheritance for you, but you got to arise. You got to get up. You got to be ready to pick up your bed and walk. You got to be ready. To, you got to be willing to take God at his word. You got to be, you got to be willing to allow, uh, let God be true and every man a liar. You are born for such a time as this. You have not been born just to be stuck into a cave and, and to be a uh, uh, trodden underfoot, but you were created for victory. You were created to reveal the glory of God and God is saying, get out of the pig pen, get out of the pig pen, get out of the muck and mire of your own mind, of your own imagination. And watch this. And the Lord says, rekindle, renew your hope, allow your hope to be renewed in me. Watch this because the Lord says this, I will do it. If you can see it, I will do it. If you just dare to look, I will do it. If you would just dare to look beyond your situations and circumstances and hope in me, trust in me, believe that I am that I am and watch me do it for you. Somebody, you got to get out of the pig pen. You got to get out of the pig pen. <laughs> The Lord says this, watch my glory be revealed. Watch it be revealed. Watch it be revealed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, there is a release of glory. There is a release of glory. There is a release of glory. God is good. Listen, God is good. And his testimony, watch this. He will bring testimony of his name. The Lord says this, I will glorify my name in the earth. Is there anybody available? Is there anybody who still believes? Watch this. How many, how many of you have allowed the situation, the difficulties, the tests, the trials, watch this, to permanently, to permanently dissolve your confidence and wreck your expectation in God? Mm. Is he not the God we read about? Ah. Is he not the God we read about? How many are ready to see the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of covenant, the God, watch this, the God of promises, glory to God, the God of promises. I don't know what you thought was going to happen, but let me tell you something. I'm here to declare to you what is exactly going to happen, that God who sits on high is going to move on your behalf. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we open up our hearts. We open up our minds. Father, we renew our strength. We renew our expectation. We renew our faith, Lord, to receive, to open up our hearts and receive, Father, your glory poured out on our life. And I just thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. There are a few of you where today the day will not fall. The day the sun will not go down before the glory of God begins to rise upon your homestead, before the glory of God begins to rise on your heart, rise on your life. The favor of God begins to touch your home. Breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Listen, there is a... Um Hmm. There is something that somebody has been dealing with for a long time. There, there's a, 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 a there's some matters. There are some matters, whether it's family matters. I just see difficulty, and I'm talking about long time, long term difficulty. The Lord says this: I'm breaking that off. I'm turning that around for you right now. I'm turning that around from you. I'm moving on your behalf. You see, watch this because it's something. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says this is something that you don't even cry about anymore. Yeah. Yeah. You cried the first month. You cried the first year. The Lord showed me that you don't even cry about it anymore. You don't even cry about it anymore. Mm. Yep. Yep. It's been so long standing, but watch this, watch this, watch this. The Lord is about to move on that situation and change it around for you. And you will know that it was the hand of God who has moved on your behalf. God is about to change that situation that has been so long term, so long standing that you don't even cry about it anymore. Yep. 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 You, you dried your tears. Not, not not in expectation of God moving, but the Lord has shown me you dried your tears because you didn't have no more left. Yeah, you didn't have no more left. It wasn't about, okay, Lord, I trust you, right? Nah, you dried your tears because you didn't, you just like, I ain't got no more left. I ain't got no more left. But the Lord says this, 
I have not forgotten about you. I have not forgotten about you. Listen, family, <laughs> you know, it's really exciting to, you know, to, <laughs> to, to be back in this kind of, uh, 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 to be back where we started, amen, doing drive time, right, to do doing, doing drive time, right? <laughs> and, and, you know, <laughs> and I almost forgot, you know, what that was like, you know, when you're driving and you're, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you're driving and you're having that dynamic and you're listening for God and you're moving and you're watching for traffic and all that stuff. <laughs> right? I almost forgot what that was like. Amen. Right? But I just want to say this. I just want to say this. There is a testimony of God. Yep. Yeah? There is a testimony of God. There is a testimony of the Lord that is being released for you, yeah? There's a testimony of the Lord that's being released for you, yeah? Mm-hmm. Hallelujah, thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. You know, there are some of you who are, thank you, Holy Spirit, there, there are a couple of you who the Lord is showing me right now, you're right at that place where uh, Sarah was. <laughs> Shall I have the pleasure? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Lord hears you, right? The Lord hears you, right? Even though you're typing amen, uh, 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 deep down in your heart, it's like, uh, shall I have the pleasure? But watch this. Watch what the Lord does for you. Yep. And this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm going to tell you why it's so exciting for me. Because your life is about to change 100%. Yep. Your life is about to change 100%. And it's and it's um it's a new identity. It's a new identity. Yep. Yep. It's a new identity. You know, you know, it's interesting because not everybody, not everybody are in the place that you're in. Yeah. Bless you, sister. Good to see you as well. Amen. Not everybody are in the place that you are in. Can I just say this to somebody? The Lord says this, only believe. Only believe. <laughs> uh, you know, because um, it's not that God is going to prove himself, but God is about to prove himself. <laughs> How many of you understand what I'm saying? It's not that the Lord is about to prove himself, but what's, what's stirring in my spirit is the fact that he is. He is who he says he is. And your understanding needs to know it. You need to know it. You need to know that you haven't followed God in vain. You need to know that you haven't hoped in vain. Watch this. So thank you, Holy Spirit. Watch this. The Lord says this. I want you to understand something. You, you must think this is strange. That you could pray to God. That you could that you could seek God. Pray to God. And that he would not answer. You must. Wow. Thank you Holy Spirit. Somebody listening right now. I want you to understand that God. Watch this. God showing up for you is not strange. Come on church. Somebody needs to get right side up. Somebody's upside down. God, God not showing up for you, watch this, God show, not showing up for you is strange. Oh boy. You see, I want you to see this because this is what the Lord is showing me, that there's somebody who, that you've been praying for such a long time, you've been going through it, and this has been part of your process. This has been part of your process, and, and it's almost like you're at this place where it's like, well, to hear that God is coming through, seems strange 
But I'm here to tell you that God not coming through is strange. The fact that God says I'm coming through for you is absolutely 100% what we should always expect from God. What we can always expect from, from God. Him not coming through is strange. <laughs> so when you hear God say breakthrough, when you hear God say your time has come, when you hear God say favor, when you hear God say your 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 when you hear the Lord say that your your prayers have come up before a, 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 a memorial before me, I want you to understand that's how it's supposed to work. So let me say this. Let me say this for somebody who's been praying uh, uh, recently, today, last night or today. The uh, mm -mm, your prayers are supposed to be answered. Ah, uh, somebody needs to equip their heart with this truth. Your prayers are supposed to be answered. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Your prayers are supposed to be answered. Don't think it's strange. The strange part was the time frame that you that you had to go through where it seemed like God was not doing it. God would, would not do it or, or that he's not or he wasn't going to come through. That's the strange part. Because we don't have a covenant of a God who does not answer. We don't have a covenant with a God who does not hear. We don't have that kind of covenant. So when God says it's your time, then we shout and we say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. 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 So, Father, in Jesus' name, I just release, release the spirit of breakthrough over your people today, Father. There, there are some people here who are in particular need, in particular need, Lord. They're in particular need, Lord. And I just thank you, Father, for even right now, Lord, just ministering unto them. Watch this, because there's somebody who there's some there's some of you who need things who need natural things. But there are some of you who need heart things. You need spiritual things. But the Lord says this. I hear you. For, some, for somebody here, that spirit of rejection has been heavy. That spirit of rejection has brought confusion. That spirit of rejection has, 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 has hurt your heart deeply. But I hear the Lord saying, it's all right. Those, watch this, because even Jesus was rejected. Mm, 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 mm. But the Lord, but I hear the Lord saying, you have been accepted by me. You know, people rejecting you, people rejecting you, uh, because it's difficult, sometimes it can be it can be hard sometimes to separate those who walked away from us, watch this, from God who's committed to us. Ah, uh, wow, wow, yep. It can be absolutely difficult, but the Lord says this to you, that I am with you that I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And so we come against that spirit of rejection that you've been carrying, that sense of isolation for some of you. You've been walking this almost like a lonely road. But listen, I wanna encourage you right now to, um, 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 uh, mm, to, to, to find that there's a place for you. There's a place for you where not only you can come, where you can gather, watch this, because the Bible says, forsake not the gathering of the saints, that we are to find a place to come together. But the Lord has has a family for you because there's somebody who's whose family has 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 um, um, your family has been less of a family to you but the Lord has earmarked some people to love on you he, he's earmarked some friends to be closer than brothers he's earmarked some 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 friends to be cousins he's he's earmarked some um, 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 some some leaders to be like parents unto you he's earmarked some people to be the family who who, who was not family to you you have not been left alone amen so listen that's my word that's my word for you guys today amen god bless you all we love you all talk to you soon breakthrough is coming to your house listen church go into your prayer closets and just thank the lord somebody's about to usher it into their house even right now just go into just go into your prayer closet and begin to and i want you to understand something when you go in there and pray the lord says this you don't need any desperation all you needed was truth.
You don't need any desperation. All you needed was truth because this is how it's supposed to be. You were supposed to get a turnaround. You were supposed to knock and the door would be open unto you. You were supposed to seek and find. You were supposed to ask, watch this, and it shall be given unto you. Well, watch the Lord open the door and give it unto you. Do not take any desperation into your prayer closet, but just go in there with praise and say, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that this is how it's supposed to be. The fact that some of you had to go through the fact that some of you had to go through a time frame of not seeing a time frame of unanswered prayer that was the strange part but watch God do it amen until next time God bless you all we love you all talk to you soon